the extended menu sequence. You now have a good idea of the flow of service. We'll take you through a nine course menu to help you better understand not only the dishes you'll be serving, but also how the courses affect the service you should provide. By the end of this lesson, you should understand the nine courses of an advanced menu sequence. These courses are Bread Service, Amos Bush, The Starter Course, The Entree Course, The Main Course, The Palate Cleanser, The Cheese Course, The Dessert Course, and The Tea and Coffee Service. So, Let's take a look at an extended menu sequence. From bread service and starters, all the way to dessert, tea and coffee. The courses often happen in this order. Firstly, bread service. This is to allow the guest to snack on something before their meal gets fully underway. Next is Amos Bush. Amos Bush means to amuse the mouth. It is usually a very small taster from the chef that can be eaten in a bite or two. After this comes the starter course. This may take lots of different forms, but common dishes for this course include salads and soups. This course usually contains lighter meals. Then we have the entree course. The entree course takes place before the main course and is traditionally a fish dish. Some establishments may treat the entree course as their starter course. Now we have the main course. This is the biggest dish and is often the focal point of the entire dining experience. Now we have the palate cleanser. This traditionally takes the form of a sorbet and plays the role of cleaning the flavors from the palate. It can be served at any point and is usually served after or before the main course. Next comes the cheese course. This course includes a range of cheeses, often served with biscuits and preserves. Now we have the dessert course. This is the final course where food is served and often takes the form of something sweet. Lastly, tea and coffee service. Guests will usually finish off their dining experience with either tea or coffee. While this list provides a good idea of how the dining experience can unfold, it is by no means the only way to deliver a multi-course meal. Different countries do it differently and different establishments will do it differently too. This list simply provides a general outline to help you understand where the different courses fit in. So to recap, an advanced menu sequence consists of bread service, Amos Bush, the starter course, the entree course, the main course, the palate cleanser, the cheese course, the dessert course, and the tea and coffee service. Well done on finishing this lesson on the extended menu sequence.